for quarter two, module number five, for week five to six, module five laws of radicals, writing the expressions with rational exponents as radicals and vice versa. So, ang gagawin natin for this lesson is, i-convert natin yung mga rational expressions into radical expressions, and then pabalik, radical expressions to rational expressions. So, first, identify natin muna yung mga parts. So, sa isang rational expression, meron tayong base at saka yung exponent. Sa radical expressions, meron tayong kinatawag na index, radical sign, radical, at saka yung exponent ng radical. So, this is what we call index, and this is yung radical sign or radical symbol. Yung A, sa loob siya yung tawag na radical and then ito yung exponent exponent ng radical so if you will notice dito sa may uh, illustration natin yung A siya yung dito sa may rational expression yung A siya yung radical natin dito sa loob ng radical expression yung M siya yung exponent ng radi uh, radical natin yung N siya yung index and then yung radical symbol So let's have an illustrative example. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, gagawin natin this rational expression. Si ko convert natin into radical expressions. So knowing kung ano yung mga parts ng isang radical expressions, mako convert na natin sila. So yung una, for number 1, we have 7 raised to 1 half. So ano yung tura ng pag-convert natin into a radical expression? So alam natin na this will be inside a radical symbol yung 7 so seven. now, yung index natin siya yung denominator dito sa may exponent ng rational expression natin so yung index natin dito is yung denominator dito sa may exponent so pag 2, kahit hindi mo na ilagay understood na to yung index hindi na nilalagay yung index na to and then, dito sa may 7, ang, ang exponent niya will be yung numerator dito sa may exponent. So, this is 1. So, therefore, yung exponent dito sa loob is also 1. So, since 1 na yun, pwede mo na huwag siyang ilagay. So, meron ka ng square root of 7. So, this is read as square root of 7. Kapag 2, square root. Kapag 3, cube root. Kapag 4, fourth root. Kapag 5, fifth root. And so on. So, for number 2, we have x raised to negative 4 over 5. So again, anong gagawin natin kapag meron tayong negative na exponent? Kukunin natin yung reciprocal muna. So yung reciprocal muna, x raised to uh, negative 4 over 5 is 1 over x raised to 4 over 5. So positive na exponent natin. So ayusin natin. So this will become 1 over x raised to 4 over 5. So, yung negative na exponent natin naging positive na kasi kinuha na natin yung reciprocal ng uh, rational expression natin. Now, pwede na, pwede na natin convert to into a radical expression. So, ang gagawin natin, so, you have 1. Tapos, alam natin yung x will be radical. So, nasa loob yan ang radical symbol. x. Next. Ano yung magiging index natin? So yung index natin will be yung denominator dito sa may exponent natin. So yung index natin will be yung 5. And then yung 4 siya yung exponent dito sa loob. So this will be 4. So para lang makita nyo sa may number 1, yung index natin dito is 2. Yung exponent natin is 1. Pero yung dalawang yun pwede mo na wag ilagay. Kapag yung index is 2, pwede mo na i-omit. Kapag yung exponent mo 1, pwede mo na din i-omit. Pero just for the sake of nakikita nyo, yun yung nangyayari. Ilalagyan natin yung 2 and 1. So yung index dito, o yung denominator sa may exponent, siya yung index natin. And then yung 1 will be exponent sa loob. Yung 5 siya yung maging index, yung 4 siya yung maging exponent sa loob. Next is number 3. 3x plus 3 fourths. So again, yung 4 siya yung maging index, yung 3 yung maging exponent sa loob. So, alam natin, sa loob ng radical symbol, 
nandun yung 3x. And then, yung index natin will be yung 4. And then yung exponent dito sa law will be yung 3. So, kung mapapansin nyo again, yung numerator natin siya yung exponent dun sa loob and then yung 4 siya yung index nung uh, radical, radical sign natin o radical expression natin. Next is yung number 4. Again, meron mga exponent na 1, tap 1 and half and then pinag-multiply natin sila. So, this will be converted into k times B. So this is um, index na 2, exponent na 1. So ilagay natin yung 2 and So this is 2 and this is 1. Pero originally yung ginan natin nilalagay yung index na 2 at saka 1. This is only for you to see kung ano nangyayari dito sa may exponent na rational number. And then yung B, meron pa rin index na 2 and then exponent na 1. But in reality, ganito lang siya sa lusulat. Square root of A times square root of B. Yan na nilalagay yung 2 and 1. Kapag yun na nakalagay yung 2, yung set po yung index, ibig sabihin, it is equal to 2. Kapag yun na nakalagay yung exponent, ibig sabihin, equal yun sa 1. So, kung makikita na ninyo, dito sa may exponent, sa may rational expression, yung 2, so yung number na nilalagay yung sa nabas, siya yung index. Yung 1, siya yung exponent dito sa may low. Next, number 5 is C raised to 3D over 9, open and close parenthesis, raised to 1, 6. So, alam na natin yung index natin is 6. So, this will be 6, 6 root of C raised to 3, D, all over 9. Ano yung magiging exponent niya? Exponent niya yung nasa my numerator, so this is 1. Or, kapag 1 niya, pwede mo nang bagi sulat. So, this will be your answer. So for number 4, this is the final answer for number 3, number 2, and for number 1. Or, sa number 1, again, tulad na sabi ko kanina, pwede mo nang mag-discular to index na 2 at saka yung exponent na 1. So this can be also be square root of 7. So ganyan yung mag-convert from rational expression to radical expression. Yung denominator ng exponent mo siya yung magiging index, yung numerator siya yung magiging exponent sa loob ng radical o sa loob ng radical symbol. Next illustrative example is from radical expression, i-convert natin into rational expression. So yung first five example natin, rational to radical. This time, radical to rational expression. So let's start with number 1, we have square root of 11. So alam natin kapag hindi nakalagay yung number ng index dito, ibig sabihin this is 2. And then, hindi nakalagay yung exponent, ibig sabihin this is 1. So therefore, susulat natin yung... Isusulat natin yung radical. And then, yung denominator na exponent natin is yung index. In this case, kapag hindi siya nakalagay, ibig sabihin yung index natin is 2. And then dito since di din nakalagay yung exponent and therefore this is 1. So this is 11 raised to 1 half. Next number 2 is 5th root of a d squared. So again, yung radical natin is a d squared. So sunat natin yung a d squared. And then, um, yung denominator ng exponent natin will be index which is 5. And then, ano yung magiging exponent? Yung exponent natin will be 1. Since this radical is 1 group lang, yung exponent na dito sa labas will be 1. Yan yung pinagkaya ka kapag may parenthesis at saka wala. Pag wala, ibig sabihin yung kakasama sa lahat na. Magkakasama mag 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 yung a, b squared. So, lalagyan mo ng parenthesis. So, this is 1 fifth raised to a, b squared. For number 3, we have 1 over cube root of 4a raised to 2. 
So, ang gagawin natin dyan is yung 4A, ay yung cube root of 4A since nakaray sa group, pwede natin siya isulat as um, 4A and then yung index niya which is 3 and then yung exponent will be 2. Now, hindi pa yun yung answer natin kasi kailangan pa natin kunin yung reciprocal. So, magiging 4A raised to negative 2 thirds. Yan. So, again, kapag nilita ko siya ng lugar, magbabago yung set exponent niya, magiging negative. So, yung 1, nandito na sa ilalim. So, since 1 na yan, di ba pinagpalit natin sila ng lugar? Since 1 na yan, pwede natin yung ilagay. For number 4, we have 4 to root of 25x squared y raised to 3. And then, close and open parenthesis, raised to 3, raised to power of 3. So, ang gagawin lang natin, isulat muna natin yung radical, which is 25, x squared y2, open close parenthesis. And then, yung fractional exponent, ano yung magiging denominator natin, yung index, which is 4. Ano yung magiging numerator natin, yung exponent, which is yung 3. For number 5, meron tayong dalawa radical symbols. So, obviously, magiging dalawa yung ex uh, rational expression natin dyan. So, 10 cube root of s squared, square root of u plus b. So, i-convert muna natin yung cube root of s squared. So, 10 s Ano yung magiging denominator niya? Yung index na 3. Ano yung magiging numerator niya? Yung exponent niya na 2. Next is yung u plus v. So, ano yung magiging denominator niya? Yung index. Ano yung index dito pag hindi nakalagay? This will be 2. So, this is 2. Ano yung exponent niya dito sa labas? Pag hindi nakalagay, ibig sabihin this is 1. So, ganyan yung convert from radical expression to rational expression. So, ulitin natin for number 1. Yung index natin is 2. Yung exponent is 1. So, susunod ko muna yung radical and then yung exponent. Yung denominator dito sa may exponent is makukuha mo dito sa index. Yung numerator makukuha mo dito sa exponent. So, dito yung index mo will be 5. So, yung 5 na sa ilalim. Dito, ang um, numerator natin is yung exponent na 1. Hindi yung 2. Hindi yung 2. Kung may parenthesis, halimbawa, may, may parenthesis na ganyan, ibig sabihin yung A yan, hindi nakakaray sa 2. So in this case, pwede mo nilagay yung 2 sa taas. Pero since na wala na pang wala namang grouping symbol, ibig sabihin, magkasama yung tatlong uh, character niya, yung AB squared, but isang buo lang sila. So basically, meron yung dapat parenthesis, magkakasama sila ng tatlo. So yung exponent mo dito sa labas will be 1. Another list of the example lang para dun sa lesson natin para mas makuha nila ng medyo makasunod yung mga medyo nalilito dun sa part na yun. So, for number 6, we have square root of 2. So, ikaw convert mo yun into rational expression. Wala to sa may module natin. This is just an additional example. So, ang, ang gusto ko mangyari, yung radical expression na x, uh, square root of 2, gusto ko siyang i-convert into a ra ex rational expression. So, identify ko muna yung radical. Yung radical is yun. And then, alam natin na yung exponent and this a fraction. So, ano yung magiging numerator? Numerator at denominator. Yung denominator will be yung index. So, in this case, kapag hindi nakalagay yung number, ibig sabihin, this will be 2. And then, yung numerator, exponent ng 2. So, pag hindi nakalagay, yung exponent na dito, ibig sabihin, this is 1. So, yung numerator na kukuha mo sa exponent, yung denominator na kukuha mo sa may index. So, this will be your final answer. So, same sa number 7, you have 51. So, let me 51. And then, 
magiging exponent ng fraction. So, this is square root of 51. So, yung index natin will be 2. Yung exponent niya will be 1. Pag wala siyang exponent, ibig sabihin that this is the 1. Number 8, yung um, radicate natin is negative m squared. And then, yung index natin is 3. Sulat natin yung negative m squared. And then, ilagay natin yung exponent yung exponent ng fraction. So, dito yung index natin siya yung, siya yung denominator, which is 3. And then, yung exponent nila, since isang po yan, it will be 1. Or, or pwede nang ganyan, mas madali. Pero meron po siya sa solution para masimplify yan. Pero, this will suffice. Pwede na yan. Next, number 9, if it root of x, y raised to 3. Susulat natin yung x, y. Open and close parenthesis. And then, yung magiging exponent niya. So, ano yung magiging denominator ng exponent niya? Yung denominator will be yung index, which is 5. And then, yung numerator yung exponent nila dito sa loob, which is 3. So, this is x, y raised to 3 over 5. Next, number 6. Uh, number 10 is 6 root of m raised to 2 and raised to 6. Again, wala silang parenthesis. So, ibig sabihin, isang go yan. Magkakasama sila. Pag hindi na parenthesis, it only means yung radical, isang buong group lang sila. So, this is equal to m squared m raised to 6. And then, yung exponent natin. Yung denominator na exponent natin will be in x, which is 6. And then, ano yung exponent nila dito sa log? Sa log ng parenthesis, it will be yung 1 pag din nakalagay. So, this is 1. Ganyan lang yun. So, i-convert mo ulit. Kung gusto mo i-convert ulit, pabalik. Halimbawa, so, i-convert natin. So, yung i-radicate natin is 2. Yung index natin is yung denominator, which is 2, kaya hindi mo na ilagay. Yung exponent ng 2 is 1, kasi hindi mo na ilagay. So, yun din tayo nag-start. This is 51 squared, so this is equal to square root of 51. This is negative m squared, there is 1 third. So, yung nasa loob is negative m squared. Yung denominator natin is yung index, which is 3. And then, yung exponent dito sa loob is yung 1, kaya huwag mo na ilagay. Next is x, y raised to 3 over 5. So, sulat natin yung x, y. And then, ano yung magiging index natin? Yung denominator, which is 5. And then, ano yung magiging exponent ng x, y? It will be yung 3. Yung 3 sa taas. So, yung 5 na index, siya yung denominator. Yung 3 na exponent, siya yung numerator. And then, x squared 26 raised to 1, 6. So, sulat natin yung m squared m raised to 6. And then, ano yung magiging index natin? Yung 6. And then, ano yung magiging exponent na natin sa loob? Ano yung magiging exponent? It will be 1. Or kung 1 na yun, tulad na sa akin before, kung 1 na exponent, huwag mo na ilagay. So, yung grouping symbol, kahit hindi mo natin ilagay. So, mababansin ninyo, from rational expression, uh, from radical, yung ginawang rational, tapos from rational, yung binalit ng radical. Now, now, just to summarize, yung index natin, siya yung denominator ng exponent, and then yung exponent dun sa loob ng radical symbol, siya yung numerator. Yung index natin, siya yung denominator ng exponent. Yung so, for number 9 na lang, yung denominator siya yung index, yung numerator siya yung exponent sa loob.